Travel expenses paid for in part by MSI. MSI for all your high-end motherboard and graphics cards needs. Rise back to glory with a complete lineup of AM4 motherboards. With a unique look and feel packaged with exclusive gaming features, MSI Gaming Motherboards offer the best possible gaming experience. Travel expenses also paid in part by Fractal Design. New from Fractal Design, the Focus G series, the cornerstone for your next PC build that showcases the aesthetics at the heart of your system with that sophisticated Fractal style. It's Computex 2017 and I'm here at the uh, MSI installation and we're gonna take a look at some products from MSI. First up are the X299 motherboards. So today is the day that X299 is launching. Uh, two of these motherboards are launching, there are five in total. We're gonna take a look at each one. X299, the new Intel chipset for new CPUs ranging from 4 to 12, 16, 18 cores? I don't know. The Intel press release is actually happening right now. Technically, this is ahead of the press release. Never mind. For the five motherboards we've got in the MSI lineup, we've got the X299 Tomahawk, the X299 Power Gaming AC, the X299 SLI Plus, the X299 Gaming M7 AC, and the X299 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. This is the X299 X Power Gaming AC. Three M.2. Eight channel, of course, if you're using a Skylake X CPU. So we've got an Intel um, 802.11ac 2x2 configuration that includes Bluetooth. Uh, that's a, it is an Intel, Intel solution. We have the Intel i219V and the i211V, so dual Intel wired gigabit LAN. So this is a PCI Express adapter that's two PCI Express M.2. So this is a by 8 interface. Yes. So this will take the by 8 interface and split it into by 4x4. Another thing that's nice about this solution for Z270 is that because this is a by 8 interface, you would use this with the PCIe lanes that are coming off of the CPU. As most of you know, if you're trying to do like RAID 0 with really high speed NVMe on Z270, you're going to bottleneck because the PCH interface is PCI Express by 4. With this, they're using the PCIe lanes directly into the CPU. So you can use this on a Z270 platform and get even more M.2 bandwidth for M.2 devices. Of course, at the cost of eight lanes to your GPU. Not so on X299, but there you go, because X299 has all the PCIe lanes. Unless you have one of the X99, X299 CPUs that doesn't actually have the PCI Express lanes, in which case, that's a problem. So launching today with X299 is the X299 SLI Plus and the X299 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. Okay, the X299 SLI Plus, uh, you know, sort of a mainstream board. It still has dual Intel LAN. That's an i219V and an i211V. It still has, you know, all of the features that you come to know and love, Mystic Lite, a USB 3.1, USB 3.1 Gen 2. It does have the USB 3.1, you know, Type-C front panel connector option. It also have the U.2 option. Looks like six SATA, six gigabit per second ports here on the front. USB 3.0, another two uh, six gigabit per second SATA ports down here. At the back, we've got PS2, two USB 3.0 uh, connector, uh, four USB 3.0 ports, four USB 3.0, that's USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and then two USB 3.1 Gen 2, one Type-C, one Type-A. Then, of course, you've got your uh, Nehemic 2 audio solution with optical SPDIF out, quad channel DDR4, uh, dual M.2 slots, up to 110 millimeters in the bottom slot. Depending on what CPU you've got, different PCI Express resources will be enabled because not all the CPUs have the same PCI Express configuration, so you'll have to consult the manual to deal with that. But all in all, pretty interesting. Finally, all the way here at the bottom is the X299 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. This has a lot of the same features from the other motherboards, but the uh, it, it has an AC wireless solution built in, uh, and it also has replaceable components. So if you want to do 3D printing, and you want to replace some of the covers or shrouds or whatever for the motherboard, you can totally replace it with something that you 3D print. Now, of course, dual M.2, U.2, same SATA configuration. You know, you've got eight, six gigabit per second SATA ports. Uh, you know, quad channel, PCI resources, depending on what kind of a CPU you've got. This thing is designed for Skylake X. It's really neat because X299. All right, new this generation is a software update from MSI, the Mystic Light stuff. So it's not just RGB. There's actually a lot of intelligence behind the, the information here. So with the SteelSeries engine, the status uh, of your character in a bunch of games, uh, Dota 2, CSGO, other games like that, you're able to read the status 
from the game of your character and have the light react accordingly. Now this isn't supported on like Blizzard games for example because you have to work with like you have to the game developer has to support that otherwise it looks like you know a cheat and so that doesn't work. But with like Valve software, Dota 2, things like that, you're able to read the status um, that's going on inside the game. So the SteelSeries engine is what's doing that in the background. Now it's all customizable in terms of what color, like if you want green or blue or whatever when your character spawns, uh, whatever status you want for that for your character, you can control that. You can also hook this into like room lighting if you really want to, so that you can have RGB lighting in your room or behind your monitor or something a little bit more visible uh, maybe than the side window for your case, depending on what the layout of your room is or, or whatever. But the uh, SteelSeries engine is going to do all of that. You set up all of your preferences for that, and all of the RGB zones in your computer can react accordingly. Another feature new this round, this is uh, actually on the Z270 Godlike Gaming, is Killer Extend. So this motherboard has three killer NICs, two wired, one wireless. The draw here is that you use the killer control software, and the computer actually becomes your router. So what the deal with this is, is you use the killer software and set your prioritization. You know, a lot of the time, like if the killer software is running on the individual machine, but you've got a router somewhere else, somebody else in your network decides to fire up BitTorrent or something like that, your latency is going to go to crap. Well, this, you plug the internet directly into the machine and the killer software becomes your firewall. So if that's something that you want to do, then you can totally use your computer as your firewall the other NIC becomes like a LAN connection, so you can plug that into a switch, and the wireless will become an access point so that all of your other devices can connect through the computer. But that ensures that you've got you know, high-speed priority traffic for whatever you're running on the machine, meaning whatever you set up in the GUI on, on the computer that you're playing games on or whatever, whatever traffic prioritization rules you want, that is the ground truth for your network because all of that is going through the killer software. Well, that's been a quick look at the X299 lineup. Now, do keep in mind that the X299 bill of materials is insanely expensive, just like last time, so don't expect these motherboards to be cheap. Uh, X299 is going to be available pretty quick, though, it looks like. So these motherboards, I'm told, are shipping to retailers now. Uh, we're going to take a full in-depth look at these and a whole bunch of other X299 motherboards. I can't wait. It was really awesome to get sort of a hands-on and play with the CPUs, but a lot of those are actually still covered under NDA in terms of like the performance part of it, so you can't really talk about it. But we have seen DDR4 running at you know, 4,000, 4,200, and 5,000 for the ultra, ultra premium kits. I don't know, it's gonna be really interesting. The features on the motherboards this time around, honestly, the motherboards seem really, really similar to one another. It's just whether or not you want a killer nick with the bundled killer software like we saw, uh, the audio solution, and a couple other features on the motherboard like the uh, the uh, visual aesthetic, the M.2 heat shields, M.2 cooling solution, M.2 placement, how many M.2, that sort of thing. So I can't wait to dive in with one of these motherboards hands-on, so we'll see how that goes. I'm signing out, and I'll see you later. It's time to return to the source. Something, something, the architect. No, actually, I'm just at the top of the top by 101. And Computex was so insane that the world, the planet, had to turn down its draw distance. So that's what's going on out there. Or it could just be fog, you know, either way. But also, I really have to eat this before something bad happens.